So we moved to site 16. I don't think I like it. Unbelievable, right? How could anyone like this site? So this is our view for the next three days. How sweet is that? Take a walk out front. This is the front of the site. Here we are. Old Betty. Site 16 in Bahia Honda is definitely the best site in the park, no doubt about it. I hate to tell you all that, because now I'll probably never get it again, but it's perfect. And you literally could get for 35 feet, and we got room in front of our Jeep. Uh, you can get a 40 footer in here comfortably. So we scored this amazing site, Site 16. We moved on over. We're totally wowed by the amazing waterfront view. Got all set up. And we headed down to uh, Key West in our Jeep. So once we got down to Key West, I didn't plan very well. Um, we needed to find a parking spot, and we ended up on Whitehead Street, which worked out fabulously. Um, we started out as we wandered down the street. We came across Hem uh, Ernest Hemingway's house, and that was something that I'd wanted to see. Um, so I peeked my head in, and Randy says, hey, you want to do the tour? I was completely taken back. I said, absolutely, let's do it. Yeah. So it was $16 a person. It's a little steep. Yeah, Randy thought so. For what you get, but. And it's about 20, 30 minute uh, walkthrough tour. Um, but in a sense, it's kind of priceless, uh, an error preserved in time. So yeah. we started the tour and walking into the house, we hear in the background, hey neighbor, hey neighbor. And then, lo and behold, there's Kim and Jeff waving away. Our neighbors from the <laughs> campsite. It was a pleasant surprise to run into such nice people when we uh, landed at Bahia Honda State Park. Uh, I imagine we will meet up with them through our ventures uh, throughout the state of Florida and maybe nationwide. The tour's been copyrighted, so we had to uh, remove the audio, um, go into just pictures and limited video because of it being copyrighted. We did see the lighthouse, uh, the six toed cats, which are infamous, obviously. Um, they had six toes? Six toes, yes. Really? Really. I didn't know that. <laughs> He's, I must have missed that part. He must have missed that part. Um, the catwalk has been blown down uh, to his writing den from the main house to his writing den. Um, but they did manage to preserve the writing den, which was, I thought, very interesting just to know that that's where he sat typing away on his little typewriter and um, putting the pieces together for so many of his books. So I found it interesting that they took up residency in Key West, um, waiting on the purchase of their Ford Roadster. It was a three week delay. Um, and in 1931, I believe it was, they settled in the house on Whitehead Street, 
where he fell in love with uh, big game hunting and chasing the giant tuna and marlin uh, off of the Keys. And I just found it to be an interesting tour in general. So after that, we ventured on down to the southernmost point. At the, the buoy. The buoy. Uh, Randy then called up an Uber for us. Uh, we didn't want to miss Sunset Celebration at Mallory Square. So we Ubered on down to Sloppy Joe's, uh, where, of course, Ernest Hemingway is, had his watering hole and famous rum runners. We also had the original Sloppy Joe French fries, which I have to say were pretty surprisingly yeah, delicious. Sloppy, sloppy Joe makes us off the chain good. Yeah, Brandy was pleasantly surprised. Oh, it was good. <laughs> I would, if I'd have known, I would have got the regular Sloppy Joe sandwich. And from that point, we wandered on down to Mallory Square for the sunset celebration. All right, so once we got uh, down to Mallory Square, I got a kick out of seeing the Key West Roosters. I went ahead and took the camera around, and there were some street uh, performers and just interesting characters in general, uh, people watching. Um, there's also a replica of the Santa Maria you can watch the sunset from. And uh, you'll see a little clip here as we're headed out of one of the interesting characters uh, blasting some vanilla ice from his 1980 boombox. Which is really cool, but we had to cut that again because of copyright, copyright issues. Issue. issues. <laughs> and but it was pretty, it was, it was just the right way to top off the evening. Randy yeah, and I got a character. kick out of it. So while we were in the Keys, we happened upon Kiki's Sandbar and Grill in Little Torch Key for lunch. And I have to say, wow. Their Kiki's famous ahi tuna nachos are off the chain. Yeah, they were phenomenal good. And we topped that off with a mango colada, and that was the perfect paired Drink, yeah. um, appetizer and cocktail that I think we've ever had. And then we spent some more time in the Keys fishing from the seawall and our Old Town kayaks. Um, it's what you do when you're in the Keys. You yeah, fish, you caught right? some fish. How many fish you caught the one day we caught um, that day? Under the old bridge, like I caught five, I think, and you had a couple yeah, that I day. Two. Um, our, one of our first nights out on the seawall, we what, both had tarpons? They both got tarpon, small tarpon on, and they both broke, broke us off, so we're not really geared up for tarpon, but <laughs> no. it was fun I fight for 30 seconds. Reel, so, And then later, Terry caught a hammerhead shark, which is kind of cool. That was definitely cool. And then we saw another lady there, caught about on a six-foot uh, shark. A nurse big. shark? I think it was a nurse shark, I believe, if yeah. I remember right. Yeah. yeah. So it was it was a lot of fun um, getting our fish on, I have to say. Um, and then to wrap everything up, we had a regular uh, visitor, our blue land crab. Yeah, he was dug under one of our stumps in the area there. <sighs> he uh, came out pretty regularly. We enjoyed seeing him. Got a I had to out stalk him with the camera and get a time lapse on him so I could catch him because he was he was big and he was schooled. He knew when to run. And we're wrapping up this video with the, our sunset from Bahia Honda. We hope you enjoyed this video. We certainly enjoyed our time at the Keys. We'll be following up with a Bahia Honda State Park review. We hope you like that as much as you like these last two videos. Please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. You did it right, yep. <laughs> thumbs up, not a thumbs, like you're hitchhiking, Terry style. Click the bell for notifications <laughs> and we'll see you in our next video.